With four months left in his contract, Bill Simmons has been shown the door at ESPN. Through ROMs. Okay, so uh, John Skipper, who is the person who's heading up ESPN, apparently was a big champion of Bill Simmons in the past and um, had been supporting him throughout, but uh, put out a statement saying, ah, we're kind of done with him. Uh, so off he goes. Now he was uh, had a $5 million salary. He was instrumental in a lot of the ESPN programs, including 30 for 30, which I did not know that he was involved in. Uh, and of course, he's got Grantland, which is a very popular blog. He comments on the NBA games. He's got a very popular uh, podcast as well. Well, his podcast is what got him in trouble, and that goes to the heart of the issue. And this story is actually much larger than Bill Simmons, ESPN. Uh, it's about all of the media and how it reacts. So, first, uh, let's go to what Bill Simmons said uh, that got him in trouble in the first place. This was a little while back and got him suspended from ESPN at the time. He said, if Goodell, referring to the NFL commissioner, uh, didn't know what was on that Ray Rice tape, he's a liar. For all these people to pretend they didn't know is such fucking bullshit. I really hope someone calls me or emails me and tells me I'm in trouble for anything I say about Roger Goodell. If one person says that to me, I'm going public. You leave me alone. The commissioner is a liar and I get to talk about that on my podcast. Call me and say I'm in trouble. I dare you. Well, it, it turns out they took him up on that dare and they suspended him for three weeks after he said that. Now, there's a little bit of, um, no, I'm not angry for uh, cheating on me. I'm angry at you for lying about it. Now, they're always angry at you for cheating on them. <laughs> okay. I don't know why they don't just say that. In this case, yeah, ESPN is a little pissed that uh, that he called them out, right? And he dared them. But they're mainly pissed because he uh, criticized the beloved Roger Goodell and the NFL. Look, they make billions of dollars from their NFL contract. So, as popular as Bill Simmons is, at most, he's going to make them tens of millions of dollars. This is not. Difficult math. They're going to take the billions over the millions, right? So, yes, they were mad at him for going after Goodell and doing so in such a, a clear and harsh way. Now, ESPN apologists will say, oh, no, they had tweaked the NFL in this way and they did that documentary over there on the Ravens and they had allowed other t types of criticism. But they draw the line on saying Roger Goodell's a liar, okay? You can't be that honest. You can only, you know, you know, just kind of look at honesty a little bit. Give it a side look, a side glance, and be like, "Oh, hey, how you doing?" Flirt with honesty. Don't date it. Right? Real honesty gets you in a lot of trouble. Now, think about why Bill Simmons said what he said in the first place. Now, do you think a guy who's never been pressured would just all of a sudden do a rant on his podcast about, "Don't you dare pressure me on this. I dare you to to call me and tell me not to talk about it." That doesn't come out of nowhere. That only comes out. If you have had that pressure before, if you're responding to that pressure, if you, you're getting along great with your best friend and you've only had good relationships and he lets you say whatever the hell he wants, do you all of a sudden burst out and go, why are you making me stop talking about issues like this? No, you don't, unless the guy's been doing that in the past, right? Look, this is all obvious, it's common sense, but we have to all agree upon a fiction in the national media. The fiction is, that these media centers, in this case it happens to be about sports, and I have no animus towards ESPN. <laughs> you know, I like tacos, I like Sports Center, I love the games on ESPN. It isn't about them, but it, it's about the fiction we've all agreed upon, which is no, when ESPN gets the NFL contract or the NBA contract, sure they can criticize those uh, establishment companies in this case and leagues in this case. Sure they can go after, no they can't. Oh, sure, when ABC, NBC, CBS uh, want access to the politicians and sometimes they want their parent company to get a merger approved by the government, of course they can criticize the government all they like. No, they can flirt with honesty. They can't actually be honest with you. That's why the internet is replacing TV news, because we can be honest with you. And when you see it, you go, oh, wow, look at that. Nobody's got a monopoly on the truth, okay? But you can actually try to get to the truth which TV stopped doing a long time ago because they want the access to the politicians. They want the access to government approvals. They want access to celebrities if they're in the, in, in the entertainment world. That's why, oh my God, Lindsay, you're the best. Oh, Kim Kardashian, how lovely, right? And then in sports, the NFL is always right. Phil Simms is the best example of this. I've never seen him broadcast a game where he didn't tell me that uh, the pass was right, the defense was right, the, NF the officials were right, the coach was right. It's a goddamn incompletion. 
It's not that great. Everybody's great. Everybody's great. Why? Because that's you got to play ball to make sure you get those contracts. So they care about those bigger deals. They care about the finances. Come and say it with me. Of course, of course, that's what this is about. So this is them basically saying, hey, we are the man. And look, I got a similar speech. I'm not as big a figure in this country as Bill Simmons is. This makes huge news when it happens to Bill Simmons, right? But Phil Griffin from MSNBC pulled me in and gave me a speech of, hey, be cool to be outsiders, but we're not. We're insiders. He literally said that. He said, we are the establishment and you got to act like it. Okay. Now, they try to make that clear to Bill Simmons. It's obvious that uh, he did not receive that message. That's why he said what he said on his podcast. That's why they gave him a three-week suspension. And then they realized this guy's not going to get it. He's popping off at the mouth too much. He doesn't know his role. Okay. So he's got to go. So no matter how much money he made him, off he goes. And look, if you're Bill Simmons, you shouldn't be angry at John Skipper. He's just doing his job, man. I, people think I, I'm angry at Phil Griffin at MSNBC. I'm not at all. He's just doing his job. His job is to make Comcast happy. That was their, They were, at the time, the new owners of uh, MSNBC. So he thinks, okay, this is how I'm going to get the job done, right? And so that's the system. All we're asking you to do is understand that that's the system and acknowledge it. So don't look for honesty about these powerful people and entities on television. You won't find it. That's not where it is. So Bill Simmons, you know, you got a big decision to make. He, who knows? They're offering him a ton of money probably in other places. You can go to another TV station. You can come online. Uh, you know, sounds like, you know, you do things that are similar to TYT. We'd love to have you on TYT Sports. I'm not saying anything except for what I just said, so call me. Okay, <laughs> but outside of that, look, no matter where he goes, just make sure that you know who you're working for, right? And and all of you, much more importantly, the audience, understand the factors at play here. They, they're financially motivated to not be honest with you. Look for the people who are.